Hi, Purple and Angie here. Today I'm going to be setting up this 3D print mill. Yay! What's special about this printer is that it's a print mill with an unlimited Z axis. So you can print something super long or super tall. I'm going to see how long it takes for me to put this together. If I can do it, anyone can. And most importantly, I want to give a huge thanks to Naomi for sending me this. So let's begin! It took around 30 minutes for me to put the CR30 together. The longest part was just taking it out of the box. Everything was just set up according to the instructions, which included no major issues. For the most part, my CR30 works straight out of the box with no problems. There is a Discord channel that has lots of helpful information. I'll include a link to that in the description. Once it was all set up, it's time to test print. But before that, you need to make sure that the printer is leveled properly. These knobs adjust the heat bed and the forward two adjust the cooling bed. I used a 0.1mm gauge that came with the print and adjusted the print head until it was touching lightly. It should take a little bit of tugging before you can get the gauge moving. The little bit of tugging means it's at the right level. If the bread is... Uh, the bread? <laughs> okay, this is the bread. Uh, this is bread. You have to level the bread. <laughs> if the bed isn't leveled correctly, the prints will not stick on properly, and you'll end up with a bunch of spaghetti. Once that was done, I started with the test print files on the SD card. I still had a few curling problems, but overall I was able to successfully print. I also updated the firmware to Marlin 2.0.9.1. All it takes is to load it onto the SD card and reboot the CR30. Super simple. From there, I moved on to printing some other models. This requires using a slicer program to prepare the G-code. I decided to use Kirimoto. It's a web-based slicer program, but all the slicing information and files are kept locally, so it's super private. The interface and settings are all very easy to understand and use. After a few smaller test prints, it was time to go big. I wouldn't have been able to easily print a sort of this size on a regular printer. Next, it was on to something even bigger! Ta-da! Using the print mill, I was easily able to print this giant logo. And I may even go bigger. So there it is. By using a belt printer, you can print things in sizes and ways you wouldn't normally be able to. I wanted to again say thanks to Naomi for sending me this printer, and I already have a ton of plans for it. So if you like this video, please give me a like. For more videos like this one, subscribe to my channel, Purple LNG, and check out my other videos. Click the little bell icon to get a reminder of new videos. Well, that's all for now. See you next time. Bye! <laughs> My foot is hanging off the chair. I was gonna say it's a treadmill. <laughs> Doing that Mulan thing. <laughs>